Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the second uh, macro in the Dave's Alpha Control free macro set. The links are down below and uh, includes a pointer to how to install it. And uh, this one here we're going to use for Alpha Selection. So what we've got here is uh, there are three zones in here. There's a uh, transparent zone, so alpha is zero. There's a uh, opaque zone over here, which is alpha is one. And then alpha goes from naught to one here, which is transparency from completely transparent all the way up to completely opaque. And uh, there's just a rectangle above here to show those zones. So I'm going to turn that off for the moment because I'm just going to do a full alpha selection. I'm just going to take a copy of what it can see and put this up here. And just going to put the, the rectangle above so we can just see again where those zones are so you can notice what's happening. And I'm going to turn off the bottom layer. So what I've got then is a copy of, of the bottom layer. And we've got this top layer here so you can effectively change this and bring in the, the original if you like. So what we've got here is quite a few controls. And uh, but they are pretty straightforward. The top four here uh, control the selection within this. So literally, if I move that one to the left, you can see that one goes back to the lowest uh, translucency there, lowest alpha. And I can bring it along here. And as I bring these closer together, this gets sharper effectively because there's a gradient going between those, those which is the feathering. And the further apart they are, the greater the feather. And the same with the other two, but watch what happens here. The moment I take these one of these off here, then this drops off here because it says the highest position you can be is opaque, but then you've got a feather between the two. And so effectively what I can do is select a portion of this. So I bring these two together, the centre two, and bring up these if you like as well then you can see the section here that is selected and the bit that feathers off as well. So this lets you to quite precisely select an area based on how transparent it is. What you can do as well is in these feathered areas you can change the algorithm for that. So three options there, naught, one and two. And you can also invert this and what that does is it basically selects everything but the area there. So you can sort of do that as well within this. So um, you've also then got what is called MonoProtect, which is the, this is the same as in a number of the other macros I do. And so as you turn this up, there's a point at which it will start basically chopping off anything which it thinks is, is uh, going to be monochrome and that's controlled by this. So the longer that you've got this side the more leeway it gives and then you can feather that there or you can leave it to quite a sharp edge and then you've got the same sort of thing here you can change the algorithm for the feathering, how it is calculated, inverting it and whether it just completely ignores any opaque areas. So let's look at a real picture. So here we got a picture here and I have selected already this outline here with just refined edge and uh, we're going to sort of look into here and say what can we do about this there are some things which are kind of missing there and uh, what we'll do in fact let's go straight out again to start off with because when I put in full alpha selection now it's going to gain a take a copy and add the edge here so I turn that off Turn on the controls here, and you can kind of set to a position here. And notice here, the moment I take this one off here, look what happens, bing, it's taking out anything which is solid. So we're now looking at the areas which are partially transparent. And what I can do as well is if I bring this all the way down here and bring these down like this, what we've got is just those hairs around the edge, which can be the tricky area. And what I can do now as well, I can then say, let's bring in one of the others. So I say the alpha squeeze and stretch. It's up above there at the moment, so let's just bring it into here. 
and bring that one up. And if I turn this up, this is going to turn up the areas there, make them darker. So there we've got these things which are coming back here. See if we this is going to help maybe turn that down a little bit because we basically want to catch the hairs but not the odd grey bits in between. And I can see if I, the where the rest of it is by bringing in the one underneath. But you've got these funny areas here. This is the bit I'm interested in. So what I'm going to do with this area here is bring in a mask to that. I hit Control i to invert the mask. So this is now invisible and I just want to bring back things. So I just want to paint on here. So I'm going to get a paintbrush, paint in white in here to bring it back. And this is, what's that, about 40%. That's fine. You can see I'm bringing back this area here. And generally speaking, you can do this, go around the edges where you're going to get more problems and paint in these sort of places and it'll just bring back those flyaway hairs at the edge and get a fuller picture. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.